Hey folks, temperatures are mild across the valley tonight. We're holding steady in the low 50s and some places the upper 40s and we're not going to go much of anywhere from this overnight, but the dew points have come up to meet the temperature and that's why we're seeing fog beginning to form in many areas. These are the latest visibility reports across the valley. Port Isabel is about two and a half miles. Brownsville, you can see three and as long as you can see, you know, a mile and a half, two, three miles, that's not bad. It's when it gets under a mile that you start to see problems. And we look back toward the west and notice West Laco's visibility is down to a mile. We showed you that on Sky 5 a moment ago. It's hard to see the highway in front of the station and that will only get worse as the night goes on. And I think we'll start to see it show up in McAllen, Edinburgh, and even Rio Grande City as the night goes on. This is future track starting at 11 o'clock and it's suggesting that a lot of the area is already down to zero and it just stays that way all night long. Here's 5 a.m. and it's foggy. Visibility near zero across much of the region should burn off by about the middle part of the morning, but you may deal with fog for a little while tomorrow, but hopefully by about noon, you're looking at five to 10 miles visibility. Sun comes back out and it turns out to be a pretty nice day. Temperature wise tonight, this is as cool as it'll get. May stay warmer than that. If anything, temperatures may hold steady or even go up overnight. And then tomorrow's highs, look at this, mid 70s across the area. Haven't seen that since Tuesday. Monday, Monday is in the 70s on Monday, 30s every day after that. The next three days are all above average, 76, 81 and 75. We'll go back below average the middle part of next week, but not by a lot. It's going to cool off a little with some showers, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, but between now and then looks pretty nice. Stop network shows all the rain offshore. All we deal with tonight is the fog around the region. Then tomorrow, a mix of clouds and sunshine. I think the clouds may be thick in the morning, might wake up to a gray sky again with fog in the area, but once that burns off, sun comes out. We see a pretty nice afternoon, kind of a mix of clouds and sun with highs in the 60s. And then we go to Sunday, or 70s rather. Go to Sunday, I think we see more sunshine. We got a stronger wind out of the south, kind of mixes things out, and you get some sunshine back in here. That warms temperatures up a bit more. Monday, another front comes through in the morning, dries the air out. Probably no fanfare with that front. I think we'll stay dry. So we see dry weather all the way through the weekend into the first part of next week. Rest of Texas tonight looking pretty nice. 51 in Austin, 50 San Antonio, same thing in Abilene. Most of the rain in the process of moving out of the state now and you can notice as we go forward not much else coming in until that next front gets here on Monday and that one again will come in with very little fanfare for the most part it slides in and just clears the air out sets for a, sets the stage for a couple of nice days early next week. So tonight mainly cloudy with some dense fog a possibility a low of 49 that fog has already formed in many areas and then tomorrow 76 for a high some fog in the morning but then some afternoon sunshine Southeast winds most of the day. Wind picks up out of the south on Sunday. We warm up to 81 and then Monday behind the front. Still mainly sunny, but only 74. And then middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, we cool things off a little bit more and bring in a slightly increased chance of rain for Wednesday primarily and Thursday. So nice to hear you say 76, 81. <laughs> After three days 70s. in a row in the 30s, you know, yeah. I think we're ready for kind of a back to normal kind of weekend. Definitely. Enjoy. Right. Thanks so much, Jim. We will.